It's just about 3 a.m. Eastern time on Friday, May 3rd, and you're looking at a live view of Space Launch Complex 40, where the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket is about to launch our Dragon spacecraft to the International Space Station. Liftoff is targeted for 3.11 a.m. Eastern time or 7.11 a.m. Coordinated Universal time. My name is Jesse Anderson, and I'm a manufacturing engineer here at SpaceX. I'm excited to be here with you to cover our 17th commercial resupply mission for NASA. We're at just about T-minus 15 minutes and counting, and all systems are currently go at our launch site in Cape Canaveral and here at SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne, California. SpaceX will be delivering more than 5,500 pounds of cargo to the space station, including critical materials to support dozens of science and research investigations. We'll, go, we'll be going a little bit more into detail on some of that research later on in today's webcast. This will be SpaceX's fifth launch this year, and we'll be launching a flight-proven Dragon spacecraft today, which visited the International Space Station previously for our CRS-12 mission back in August of 2017. Both Falcon 9 and Dragon were designed with reflight in mind, so the vehicle hardware is built to support multiple missions with minimal refurbishment in between. And while, while the Dragon has flown once before, the booster we'll be flying today is actually brand new. And after stage separation today, we will be bringing that first stage back to our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, so that it can be flown on future missions. It was just a few weeks ago that we launched our second Falcon Heavy mission and successfully landed its center core on Of Course I Still Love You, as well as the two side boosters on landing zone one and landing zone two. But today, the drone ship will be positioned much closer to land, approximately 12 nautical miles off the shore of Cape Canaveral versus the 535 nautical miles for that Falcon Heavy mission. Since we're not going to geosynchronous transfer orbit for today's mission, we have enough performance to complete a boost back burn and ultimately land a lot closer to shore. And the closer that we land to shore, the easier the weather forecasting is and our chances of recovery for that first stage increase. Our launch window this morning is instantaneous, which means that we only have one second to land, launch Dragon. So for if for any reason we stand down from today's launch attempt, a backup opportunity is available on May 4th at 2.48 a.m. Eastern Time. unable to uh, maintain uh, power to allow us to proceed with launch on time, and we simply ran out of time. At this point, we're proceeding with propellant offload. Once we complete that and TTEB sweeps, we'll prepare to lower the vehicle, and we'll address uh, helium uh, leak on the uh, second stage QD interface, and we'll set up for a 24-hour recycle.
If you're just now tuning in, we are aboarding for the day. It sounds like we have some issues with the drone ship, but the Falcon 9 rocket and the and Dragon are still both looking good. Um, we will be standing down for today, but tomorrow we will have another launch attempt on May 4th at 2.48 a.m. Eastern Time. Um, follow, follow us on our social media accounts for more information, and thanks for tuning in.